From Artichoke Music in Portland, Oregon, we're delighted to welcome you to our live stream concert today and broadcast featuring Haley Johnson. I'm your host, Tom May, and welcome to summer. It was the sound of a fiddle in the old front room. A basket full of roses that had just come into bloom. She was a flower, barely 17. The gentle lover's touch as her fingers danced across the strings. She played the verse of an old song. I can't recall the name. But I remember her dark eyes blazing as she played it for me again. I was a traveler, only passing through. I was on my way to Idaho and I found that rose and you. Just a fiddle and a rose picked from the prairie. In a parlor where the music played until late into the night I lingered at the doorway till it was finally time to go And hoped that I would see again the fiddle and the rose It was early summer, a few years had passed When I happened to get back to that little prairie town at last I found her old house but it looked so bare Then I heard the sound of her fiddle in the fragrant April air She was glad to see me though a bit surprised Then we took a walk together beneath clear Dakota skies Days and weeks passed to a lover's tune and I told her that I could stay until the roses were in bloom Just a fiddle and a rose picked from the prairie In a parlor where the music played until late into the night I lingered at the doorway till it was finally time to go And hoped that I would see again the fiddle and the rose Fields of wild clover by the river Running full with newly melted snow The sound of a robin singing as I left her Now that seems so very many songs ago But it seems there's music in the summer air Whenever I see a rose in bloom It always takes me there To the roads that I've traveled That I've left behind the flower of my youth and the fiddle tune so fine just a fiddle and a rose picked from the prairie in a parlor where the music played until late into the night i lingered at the doorway till it was finally time to go and hoped that i would see again the fiddle and the rose And now Haley Johnson on River City Folk, our guest today across the United States on Folk Music Notebook and right here at Cafe Artichoke. I've had three cups of coffee and I'm on my fourth again. Forgot to take the trash out this week's film. To the brim, the spiders on the ceiling, and they're watching me get by. I'm standing on the sidelines tonight. But when I wake up, I'll run the wash and clean the wine up off the rug. Yeah, I'm a Someone. I've 
I've seen my mother smile and walking with a ball and chain. I've heard my father crack a joke through all his aches and pains. Oh, to keep the lights on for my brother and I, just knowing it'll be alright. But when I wake up, I'll run the wash and clean the wine up off the rug. I'm a fired up Cinderella Just trying to, just trying to keep up Yeah, I'm dying to, I'm dying to be someone So Sometimes when I can't sleep and my stomach churns with each heartbeat, I imagine my hands open wide, letting go of all my pride. When I Run the wash and clean the wine up off the rug Yeah, I'm a fired up Cinderella Just trying to, just trying to keep up Yeah, I'm dying to, I'm dying to be someone yeah, I'm dying to, I'm dying to be someone Haley Johnson on River City Folk with her song, Cinderella. We're doing this in front of a socially distanced uh, audience that is all very appropriate to these times that we live in, but we are so delighted to have you on stage with us, Haley. So glad that you're out performing in front of a live audience again, as I well know. as a big audience around the country. It's crazy. It's, so, it's very uh, surreal to be performing for any group of people and... Uh, amazing that other people can watch too from their homes. <laughs> well, again, thanks so much for being a part of this. This is part of our reopening of this great institution in Portland, Oregon, Artichoke Music, which has meant so much to so many for so long now. And we are just very, very happy to be underway here this afternoon. That is a song that appeared on your record. I love saying that, record. You know, I didn't, haven't said that for a while. You released this vinyl release called Golden Days, and that appeared on on that. Yeah, we have Golden Days, released that last, last May. And that was not the only album that came out that year. I love the story that we were talking about earlier about this uh, CD that was done in London at the venerable Abbey Road studio. So maybe you could regale us with that story because I think everybody smiles when they hear that. Yeah, I, I do too. <laughs> um, so last year when I was finishing up my very first um, Europe tour, I flew over to, to London to play some shows and they were canceled last minute. And so to make up for the time and the financial impact of being there. Um, my manager was able to find a cancellation at Abbey Road Studios in Studio One, which is the biggest studio I think ever, maybe. <laughs> and that's where they have all the symphonies come and play the Star Wars tracks. And uh, so it was pretty surreal um, to have that opportunity five hours to 
kind of just record as much as I possibly could, and I laid down eight songs, just totally live. And they came out great. And those songs were done pretty much the same way that you're performing for us today, in that mm -hmm. you just had your acoustic guitar and a couple of little things to, uh, as an adjunct yep. to your songs, and to walk down those stairs that the Beatles walked down to do their recordings. That must have been, must have sent a shiver up and down your spine. Yeah, it, it was definitely a, a surreal moment and a very inspired place. Well, you did an inspired job on those songs. Thank it sounds you. great. And we'll talk a little bit more about that a little bit later in the program. But right now we're going to hear a song that uh, was instrumental in you becoming the artist you've become. And this terrific song by Bonnie Raitt, uh, that she wrote called Home. Her parents were theatrical uh, folks in Greenwich Village, New York, and, and uh, she grew up in that kind of an atmosphere. Loved the blues from the very beginning, but this is not a very bluesy song, but it certainly is eloquent. When did you decide uh, that this was, was a song that was gonna continue to resonate with you? Well, um, I actually didn't discover this album till a little later in life, but I was listening to Bonnie Raitt because of my mother, you know, I can remember at the age of three going on road trips and listening to Bonnie Raitt just on repeat. And I became pretty obsessed with her at a very young age. And so I started digging into her older stuff later on. And this, uh, the whole album, Sweet Forgiveness, is just so beautiful. There's not one song on there that I would skip by. And Home is just, um, I, it's one of those songs that if I, if I feel like I don't, haven't been singing much or I'm not in the mood to sing, I sing that song and I, I just light up. It just feels so good. Traveling at night, the headlights were bright, and we'd been up many an hour. All through my brain came the refrain of home and its warm and fire. And home sings me of sweet things My life there has its own wings Fly over the mountain Though I'm standing still The people Coming between the cities of tiring life and the trains come and go, but inside you know the struggle soon be a fight.
permission to break my condition. I've been wishing. You are listening to River City Folk, a weekly broadcast of live performance, musical influences, and interview this week, live streamed on stage at Cafe Artichoke in Portland, Oregon. We heard two pieces of music there, beginning with the the famous recording by Bonnie Raitt called Home. She was followed by my guest today on the program, live on stage, Haley Johnson, with a very soulful piece, just really, really lovely song called I'll See You Around, Haley Johnson. Haley, you have had some unique experiences, I think, for many singer-songwriters would uh, be very, very 
uh, fortunate to have had some of the things that you've done. One of the, the ones in your bio that I found most interesting was your work on American Idol. And working in uh, that kind of a situation, uh, what, what can you tell us that you learned in that kind of a pressure cooker of a, of a, a cauldron of, of anxiety as you waited with those people and with those kind of people telling you things all the time, do this, do that, don't do the other thing. Yeah. What did you take away from that experience? Uh, cauldron of anxiety is a great, great <laughs> way to put it. Um, you know, I was so terrified of performing and singing before I went on that show that I really see it as a catalyst for me finally facing my biggest fear and deciding that it's I knew all along is what I wanted to do, but it kind of it really showed me that I could I could do music. I could pursue this as my as my living. Um, and I kind of learned to just embrace the struggle and to work really hard. And it, it taught me a lot. As as terrifying and painful as it was, it was also a very beautiful experience. Did you make any connections uh, when you were doing that program that allowed you to move on to the next level as far as people that you could? Uh, work with to find more gigs and more connections in the music industry? I, I didn't really have uh, industry contacts immediately, um, but when I did get home to Portland, I had never played out in this scene before. I was very new, and you know everyone knew me then as the American Idol girl, so I, I was getting a lot of phone calls to come and perform, and I, I was hardly doing this and, and playing guitar, and so I, I went back home and moved in with my parents and uh, <laughs> just hustled and started playing out in the music in the scene and the Portland music scene has been so amazing to me and it's like a family an amazing community and uh that was yeah I, I would say that that's the greatest thing that has come from it it's just people booking me <laughs> well and I'm glad to hear it was just so positive for you overall and of course uh the scene here in Portland is amazing as it is in many towns in the United States but we're we're somewhat uh, biased towards it here a lot of great musicians wind up here and uh, you're one of them Thank you're you. a great singer and great writer thank you so much for being on the show today you've got uh, another performer that you enjoy very much that we're going to hear right now. And I'm not as familiar with her music. I've only heard a couple of her songs. And this is Brandy Carlisle, a song called The Joke. And I was very taken with this song when I listened to your, the recording you sent along to me. When did you become acquainted with, with her music? I began listening to Brandy Carlisle in college. And from, you know, she was a very grassroots artist and her albums, she's, I think, released about four or five now. And I've just kind of followed her journey since I, you know, kind of decided to um, start taking music seriously. And she has, she's just one of the most inspiring people to me out there. And she's a good person. And the song that she's, that you're going to play is a beautiful song kind of about just loving everybody of every skin color, of every sexual identity, every, all of that. So... It's an amazing, amazing song. Brandy Carlisle on River City Folk with a song called The Joke. You're feeling nervous, aren't you, boy? With your quiet voice and impeccable style. Don't ever let them steal your joy. And your gentle ways To keep them from running wild They can kick dirt in your face Dress you down and tell you That your place is in the middle When they hate the way you shine I see you tugging on your shirt Trying to hide inside of it Hide how much it hurts Let them live while they can Let them spin Let them scatter in the wind I have been to the movies I've seen hands And the joy 
It's your brother's world for a while longer. You gotta dance with the devil on a river to beat the stream. Call it living the dream. Call it kicking the ladder. They come to kick dirt in your face to call you weak and then displace you after carrying your baby on your back across the desert. I saw your eyes behind your hair, and you're looking tired, but you don't look scared. Again, got enough gas just to make amends at the bar where I'm gonna find luck and all my friends. Last year my wheels went for a ride. A thief took a nightcap warm inside, and I was left with his bottle and my pride. Sometimes you lose, and sometimes you win. Everything. Comes back again. I wish I could go back again. I wish I could go back again. I'm digging my grave for the last time. Got twenty-five cents and a bottle of wine. You ain't got no worries when your life is on the line. 'Cause everything's better with a little buzz. Losing your fear, whatever it was, for one more moment you smile just because. Sometimes you lose and sometimes.
like I've got nothing, nothing left to lose. But these days keep tearing at my will, my God, to go back to those golden days. are listening to River City Folk. We heard two pieces of music there, beginning with Brandy Carlisle, a song called The Joke, followed by my guest today, Haley Johnson, with her lovely song, Everything Comes Back Again. Haley, one of the projects you're involved with right now, which I was just fascinated by because I've always been a student of that period of time and that music. It was just a little bit before my time, but I know a lot of the characters from that time still. But this is a, a, a production that you're doing, and it's, uh, it's all about Greenwich Village during the early 1960s, the Gaslight uh, Cafe there, which was just a, a, such an important uh, breakout period, not just for this kind of music, but also for comedy and for poetry. It was a, a, quite a fertile period of a creative expression. And tell us a little bit about this, this movie that you're involved with right now. Yeah, so it's a movie that um, has not yet been made, but there is, it's going to happen, hopefully. And the soundtrack is made, but it's called 116 McDougal. And I have been hired on to play the part of Carolyn Hester, who was a folk singer um, playing at the Gaslight back in the late 50, 60s, 70s, and played with Bob Dylan. Bob Dylan actually played harmonica on her records. Um, and so I will be playing her in the movie and my, have the songs on the soundtrack. And I got to talk to her on the phone. Yeah. So. She's, she's a wonderful woman, just a very, very talented artist. I've met her down at the Kerrville Folk Festival. Uh, she's a legend in, in our style of music, and I'm just so tickled for you that you've gotten to speak to her and that she'll be playing her in this production. Of course, the, uh, the Gaslight, the, where Peter, Paul, and Mary first performed, and uh, Dylan, uh, so many others. Dave Van Ronk is a person that comes to mind that's, that's a link for, to the Gaslight forever. But... Really an exciting thing. So, so does it follow just the that early period, sixty three to sixty six at the Gaslight? Yeah, it's a little earlier. It's more about the the man, the man who owned the Gaslight oh, yeah, Cafe, John Mitchell. John Mitchell yes. and and yeah. his crazy life story, and so there's lots of big drama, movie. <laughs> well, really, really wonderful. I, I, I can't wait to see it. I can't wait to see you in it, I'm Haley. excited. <laughs> <laughs> You've got another recording for us to hear right now by another woman that I'm fortunate enough to have crossed paths with in my career, Joni Mitchell from Saskatoon, Saskatchewan. And this was her huge song uh, that really took her to another dimension back in the 1960s, both sides now. And all of these decades later, it remains just as fresh and as impactful as it was back then. Is it a song you've always been in love with yourself, Haley, or is it something that you came to later on? Uh, I came to it later on, and I can't listen to this song without like crying. <laughs> it's just such a, I don't know, the way it's written and the way she sings it, and the new version as well. 
where she's she's a little older and it's a quite a bit slower version. It's just lyrically that woman is ge- a genius, and so she knows how to pull your heartstrings. Joni was uh, just one of the great talents that's ever been in in this thing we call acoustic singer songwriter music, or however you want to refer to it as. Joni Mitchell with both sides now on River City Folk. I dedicate this song to my fiance, who is at home watching right now. Um, This is what was going through my head when I met him six years ago. 
Catch me while you can I lost my self-control The moment you walked in Like a breeze I was on my knees Begging for the last call I'll be your nightcap, honey You can have it all You can have it all So lift me up Don't you know To point and then pursue My game is sweet and quiet Waiting for the mood, yeah With a jack and an ace of spades You threw a good hand You got me flushing, darling I'm going all in Oh, I'm all in, yeah So lift me up Don't you know Haley Johnson on River City Folk with a song she's quite well known for in certain circles. A very, very powerful piece of music called Lift Me Up. That was preceded by Joni Mitchell and her timeless classic, Both Sides Now. That song is a little preview of... uh, what it's like when you play with a band, except your band on stage here is quite small. It consists, it consists of these really cool uh, jangles you got on one of those cool boots. Yeah, it's a little tambo on my foot. And then the stomp, the stomp box over there, but it's really effective. But you do have a band that plays with you, a full band that plays with you on on many, many occasions. I miss them very much. Well, Well, we're glad just to have you here with us. There you do a wonderful job just on your own. But the whole dynamics of getting a band together and keeping them together and keeping them working is so difficult, eh? Oh, yeah. I mean, most of them also have other projects that they do, and, mm-hmm. but they are amazing musicians. I feel very lucky to have them. And do they, have they played on your most, well, I know they didn't play on the Abbey Road album, but did they perform on your earlier vinyl release? No, they did not record on that. Um, they, I had a studio band for that album that my producer um, encouraged me to, to use. And mm-hmm. I kind of pieced this band together after the album was done, kind of 
uh, just to learn learn it. And they are my house band. And I know you've done a number of different kinds of venues around uh, the area and around the United States, Haley. What would be your, your, your favorite kind of venue to perform at? A large concert hall kind of such a setting or a festival or, or something like this here at Artichoke Music? <laughs> I mean, I love, when I was touring Germany, I loved playing the small cafes and whatnot, but there's nothing quite like playing in a, a big concert hall, like a seated, the seated audience and... I, that's very inspiring. <laughs> well, it's 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 always uplifting, so to speak, when yeah. that when that happens. But it's also uh, just wonderful to hear you in a more intimate situation like this. You've got one more recording for us to hear today, and I got a kick out of this one when I heard it. I I, had, I was totally unfamiliar with these folks. Uh, First Aid Kit is the name of the band. How'd you hear about these guys? First Aid Kit, um, man, they, they actually became famous a couple years ago from a YouTube video. They're um, two sisters from Sweden, Stockholm, and uh, they make yeah really amazing Americana folk music uh, and have been releasing albums for quite a few years and kind of just jumped on the bandwagon when they first kind of came into the scene. This is a song called My Silver Lining, and I hope... And know that everybody who's listening to this program around the country will enjoy the song just as much as I did and as Haley Johnson did as well. Haley Johnson uh, on River City Folk, my guest today, and a song called My Silver Lining.
Celebrating 35 years of music that makes a difference on River City Folk, I'm your host, Tom May. Haley Johnson has been my guest today. We heard two pieces of music right there, beginning with uh, the group First Aid Kit, a song called My Silver Lining, and Haley's song, Teardrop Canvas. So, Haley, we talked about your two most recent uh, productions that you've done, your albums. Have you got some songs ready for this next album that you'll be doing soon? Uh, they are in construction. <laughs> I have a, a bunch of songs, a lot of ideas, but just kind of honing in on uh, kind of finding a cohesive direction and continuing to write. And there's plenty to write about right now. So, yeah, just kind of taking my time. Well, there certainly is plenty to write about these days. That's for certain. And I am so delighted that you were able to join us for this program that helps reopen this landmark of Northwest Music Artichoke in Portland, Oregon. You're going to give us one more song to take us out today. And uh, before you do that song, could you give us your website information where people can find information about how to purchase those two wonderful albums that I heard? Yeah. So HaleyJohnsonMusic.com. Um, I have a web store on there, it just says shop, and you can purchase all my vinyl and CD, and I'll send it directly to your home. And my last name is spelled J-O-H-N-S-E-N. Common mistake with the O, so don't forget that. <laughs> you're, gonna, you're gonna give us this one last song, uh, and what is this song going to be, Haley? This song is a very special song to me. Um, I wrote it a couple years ago, and it's really my anthem for for facing my fear and believing in myself and encouraging other people to do the same. Um, once I get it tuned here. <laughs> and if you're gonna do this profession for a living, you better believe in yourself and you better have no fear because oh, yeah. there's going to be many, many obstacles along the way. But I'm just so happy to hear you doing so well and I'm just, I'm really excited about this movie. I can't wait to see this. <laughs> yeah, uh, I can't wait to see this movie happen about Greenwich Village in the, in the 50s and 60s. Yeah. The name of the last song again one more time is? Feel the water. Feel the water. Haley Johnson on River City Folk, thanks so much for being on the program. Thank you so much for having me. Thanks for watching, everyone.
much for all being here. Thank you.